Now I'm being joined by Super Grandmaster Sergei Movsesian from um, Armenia. How was the game today? Well, quite tough actually. It was. Uh, it's a tough match. It's still going on, and I hope uh, we'll manage to win uh, at the end. And uh, well, my my opponent is a very promising uh, young German player, so I knew that it's not going to be easy for me. Of course, at some point uh, I managed to get a good position. Uh, and uh, at the, well, after the time control, it was not completely clear whether I, whether I could win or not. But uh, it's very difficult for him to de was very difficult for him to defend. So um, at the end, I managed to break through. Really nice. A lot of the spectator thought it is a draw because there's a material um, bishop and rook against queen. But how did you manage it to break through? Well, actually, there's a big difference between uh, the, you know still four point, pawns against four pawns leaves some uh, some uh, kind of uh, uh, still uh, some possibilities to break through when it would be three against three then it would be impossible to break through but but with four pawns i still had some chance to i managed to fixate his pawn on h3 and after which uh, i had some some ideas and his king is very weak so um, of course queen is very strong when it's coming to mating attack and uh, uh, this is what uh, eventually this didn't happen at the end but uh, but then he had to go to very passive setup and uh, i actually took swung to him at the end and uh, he had, he, he ran out of moves, and my king came to e1 more <laughs> basically at the end. So, so it was it was winning already. Very important point for our chess club. Um, one special question: Your friend um, Levon Aronian is playing the FIDE Candidates Tournament 2018 in Berlin. Do you think he has a chance and uh, to um, win this tournament and get? It's, it's, it's a really big shot against Magnus Carlsen. Well, I hope so because uh, he was uh, he was trying to to get to to the actually to, already to get to a candidate tournament is extremely difficult. So I think everybody who got there deserve a chance to uh, to fight for it. And uh, but I hope that it will be my friend Levon who would be able to finally win the candidates and then to challenge Magnus. But uh, of course, first winning the candidates would be very difficult. We hope he will make he will make it. Um, four days ago, um, uh, the new chess engine, the new artificial intelligence chess engine from Google, Google DeepMind Alpha Zero, managed it to win against um, Stockfish. Do you think um, this um, development in artificial intelligence will have an impact on chess preparation and analysis? I don't really think so. That the, of course it looks sensational, and uh, well, first of all, I actually uh, I don't have all the information about the match because still there were lots of rumors about uh, the setup and everything. And uh, well, obviously uh, chess computers or chess programs are extremely strong, and uh, um, well, it's um, already it's it's impossible to fight them in a practical game. So people gave up this these ideas because back in years when Kasparov was still challenging the computer it was still quite some fight but but now it's not anymore so uh, of course now lots of people they would try to get uh, to get the software but uh, I don't really think that still you have to 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 come uh, and to help computer to uh, basically to come up with some, some ideas uh, so it's still I think it will be very difficult for whatsoever great uh, artificial intelligence to uh, to grasp uh, perfectly the idea of of uh, dynamics and everything in chess, so I, I think that uh, it's uh, oh, well, so there's no no point to panic, and uh, I just I just think that it's basically a very very natural that computers are getting better and better, and uh, just uh, uh, well I think it's still still human game, and uh, well once when when basically theoretically when uh, when computer will be able to calculate all the moves till the end, then of course then we will have to start to worry. Thank you for your insights. Um, Christmas is very soon and um, maybe you would like to send some Christmas wishes from Baden-Baden? Well, I hope uh, all people watching this have a very great Christmas and the perfect entrance to the next year. And uh, I think that uh, it's, it's a time when uh, lots of people are in stress with, uh, with buying uh, presents and everything around. I hope you, all of you, you will manage to avoid this and just enjoy, enjoy the Christmas time and enjoy all the holidays uh, and uh, basically to have, to have a Christmas exactly in the way you want it to have. Thank you. I wish you all I wish you all the best for your game tomorrow. Thank you for the interview. Thank you very much.